Kia ora, um, I'm Alvi and welcome back or to the channel. Um, today I am reviewing slash kind of going over the Daniel Smith Nicole's Lopez palette. Um, this is just a dot chart um, but from that I'm hoping to um, try out some of the colours and put together a painting. Um, from this I do also have three tubes of paint just down here. Um, I've got Luna Blue, Bloodstone Genuine and Shadow Violet. Um, all of which, well two are on here, the um, Luna Blue and the Bloodstone Genuine. And I have tried out the Shadow Violet before um, on a previous palette. Um, which has already been videoed and stuff. So if you want to see that, um, it's on the channel somewhere. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, so today we're just going over and um, trying out the colours, seeing how well they work together and what I can kind of put together with them. Um, so yeah, first up is obviously um, just trying them out. I might actually put a few dollops of water on them just so that they don't have a chance, you know, to kind of soften up and be a bit more pretty um, some colors need the extra water um, some don't some start up right away it all depends on the pigments and everything and um, that is definitely something I speaking of pigments <laughs> um, one thing I'm not a huge fan of with Daniel Smith is that they don't put the pigments on them the dot charts um, they've got all these other things like the series the number um, granulation and whatever yeah the ones and twos and then like how opaque they are and stuff and then if they're a p genuine pigment um, but they don't put um, the pigments which is like a little annoying like I know you can just research it yourself but it would be nice just to be able to see straight away like what kind of pigments you're signing up for because there might be some pigments that um, you don't support. Um, especially with Daniel Smith. I know a lot of them are like quite mined pigments. And some, like a lot of people avoid using. Um, such as things like cobalt and cadmiums. But, um, yeah. That's just a little nitpick. With just overall nothing to do with the palette yet. Um, from what I can see on the dot cards, oh, this is going to be green, oh no, I didn't quite clean my brush properly, oh well, might give us a better idea if it's pigmented or not, well like, opaque. Um, but yeah, to me this seems like quite like a moody colour palette, um, the piece I kind of... I sketched something out just um, on the other page, just like a little landscape um, of sorts, because I figured that would kind of work with the colours, but I'm not too sure. Um, so we're going to find out together. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to add a lot of water to them just in case they are granulating. Um, that kind of needs a bit more water to be able to be seen and noticed so yeah because I assume you know these will be kind of quite pigmented colors um, and so far they're really easy to um, activate with just like the dollop of water over top um, for anyone that's curious this is um, Winsor & Newton um, cotton paper, 100% cotton, um, and 300 GSM. Um, so yeah, that's the paper that we're working with. So it's quite good quality paper, um, which, you know, just makes it nice and easy for you guys kind of to see how the paints do, do their thing. I do quite like the lunar pigments. That like 
because I have tried the dot card before Daniel by Daniel Smith like with all of them but I haven't done used them in a while and I kind of don't remember them because <laughs> that was yeah as I said quite a while ago I do quite like dot cards just because it gives you an idea of like what a palette looks like um, and it gives you an idea of like if you'd actually use the colors in said palette because yeah this is quite like a moody palette and not everyone likes that kind of palette some people quite like colorful ones or with some with more greens and yeah there's only so many neutrals and greys you need in a palette so for this to mainly be neutrals and greys um you kind of want to be using mainly those colors in your paintings oh this is quite pretty sorry i wasn't even showing you what it was there's this one down here Classic ultramarine blue. It's the brightest colour on the palette. And we've got one um, shiny colour just here. Which is quite pretty. But I don't think you can quite see the sparkles. Kind of. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the colours. I'll give you a quick overview of them, but you can kind of see they are starting to granulate out. Got quite a f yeah, most of these are granulating colors which I am happy to see because I love granulating colors but if you weren't expecting it um, there's something to take note on <laughs> and yeah um, and just due to like the way I'm recording these I will be doing the painting in the next video so stay tuned for that so yeah um, I'll see you guys then